I came to Yale as a postdoctoral trainee, and I was particularly interested in endocrinology in general, but uh, diabetes. And actually, I had a chance to work with Dr. Robert Sherwin. We started on this project um, in the late 70s, when uh, at a time when insulin delivery was very hard to achieve in a physiologic way. Patients uh, had about a 15 to 20 year uh, reduction in life expectancy. And diabetes was the leading cause of kidney disease, blindness, amputations. The pump story is a little complicated. I was actually looking for a way to deliver a hormone, not insulin, uh, to people with diabetes over a few days. And actually, there were children in the Children's Clinical Research Center at Yale who were using a portable infusion pump to give a different medication for a blood disorder. When he showed it to me, and it, it really um, turned out that it had all the features you needed for delivering, it, delivering insulin. I looked at the pump and I thought this was a device that could give a medication around the clock, which it could at a, at a steady rate. But what I didn't know was that there was a little red button on the pump that said instant dose button. And that's the kind of little extra feature that would be perfect for diabetes because the pancreas makes some insulin all the time, a little bit that trickles in, which could be the continuous infusion. But when you eat, you need an extra blast of insulin, and that's where the instant dose button could come in. By just turning the knobs up, pressing a button, the patients could get a dose for every time they ate. The idea of a pump, which could be deliver insulin in small amounts continuously and augment delivery when you ate, was a new concept at the time and really changed, I think, the way we managed diabetes in the future, both via the pump as well as clinically with injections. The difference between having diabetes now compared to what it was years ago before pump treatment is like maybe the difference between day and night, okay? <laughs> Even with um, a relatively small number of advances, um, we're doing so much better, it's almost really hard to imagine.